Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, uh, here we are. It's, uh, Friday, June 10th. And it's, uh, Sports Day Friday, number two. Uh, we'll start off today with, um, I guess, well, I have personally, for me, the biggest, uh, sports story of the weekend. And, uh, that's the Dallas Mavericks are one game, one game away, 48 minutes away. From their first NBA title, the first DFW title in 12 years. So after beating uh, the Miami Heat last night by what was it, nine points? And sure, Wade was in. I'm not gonna say injured. Wade got hurt, and he didn't play too well. And uh, LeBron James disappeared in the fourth quarter again. Um, but besides that, I mean, Dallas was still dominating the game. I mean, except on on rebounds. But uh, shot percentage and and everything like that um, is pretty much Dallas's game yesterday. Um, so I don't want to get my hopes up because you know last two games in Miami. So we'll see. I'm still sticking with my prediction. Uh, Dallas in six. I said that like a week and a half ago. I'm sticking with it, even though it still might go seven. I hope not. I really hope it doesn't. But. You know, we'll see. Dirk, uh, Dirk's one game away from redeeming himself. So, I don't know. We'll see. Ought to be good. Um, in other championship news, it's not really big news for this area, but Boston Bruins, Vancouver Canucks tied two games to two. Go Boston. Um, I actually, I, I really, I really don't care who wins the series. Um, because, you know, stars aren't in it, but... You know, I got a I got a Canadian friend who's rooting for the Canucks, so I gotta root against it. You know, draw that draw that line, create that Canadian American rivalry, right? You know, it's been a while since a Canadian team won the Stanley Cup, so go USA, USA. Even though most of the players are other nationalities, so I mean that's it's not really, but but that's why I do it. I, I give them a hard time, and it's fun. So, we'll see about that. Game five of that's tonight. Um, before the series started, I probably would have said Vancouver in seven, even though I'm rooting for Boston. But now, after the last two games, and even the two games in Vancouver, Boston was really close into it. Um, I might have to say Boston in seven. You know, Vancouver went tonight, Boston went back in Boston, and then Boston's going to carry that momentum into game seven. So we'll see. That's 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 my prediction on that. So I don't know. Well, good luck uh, to both teams. Um, in Texas Rangers news, won some, lost some. Ogando won another seven and zero. Now won his first eight starts. So that's cool. Uh, but they did. The, I guess the biggest news for the Rangers is they replaced their hitting coach. Um, one say Thad Bosley. Just got the job at the start of the year after the old one, after the old hitting coach uh, took the Pittsburgh Pirates coaching job. Got them up to a 30 30 record for the first time since, what, 05, 06? So, Rangers lost a good coach. But uh, they replaced him with Scott uh, Coolball, uh, something like that. I probably butchered that name. But uh, he was hitting coach down at uh, Round Rock, the uh, triple the A team for the Rangers. So,. Hopefully he'll get their bats going, because their bats are still struggling. Um, you know, who knows? And uh, along with the Rangers, uh, just kind of, you know, little fluff piece. The Rangers drafting uh, uh, in the 33rd round. Um, I should have been more prepared for this. One second. Oh, my God, I can't find his name. Jonathan Taylor out of, what was it, Georgia? Georgia outfielder who ran into his teammate earlier in the season, broke his neck, and is paralyzed from the waist down. The Rangers decided to draft him, and I thought that was a pretty cool move. I mean, instead of drafting another player who, in that late of a round, was a long shot to do anything for the club anyways, they went ahead and made that kid's dream come true. So, good, good on the Rangers. They said they would have drafted him anyways, because he had the skills. So, good for you, Rangers, good for him, and good for his teammate, who also got drafted by the Rangers. So, 
Uh, let's see what else is going on. Oh, uh, NCAA baseball started last weekend. Uh, the favorites, at least in this area, the TCU Horn Frogs, who made a spectacular run last year, um, got eliminated by Dallas Baptist. Really? Where did Dallas Baptist come from? Eliminating the Horn Frogs. They also took out OU. Dallas Baptist. Wow. So, um, I'm, I'm rooting for the Longhorns, always do, in baseball. Actually, in everything, I root for the Longhorns after UNT, but, I mean, come on. UNT's not in the same class. It's UT. I, everyone knows that. So, go Longhorns. Good luck. They're playing Arizona State. Yeah, Arizona State right now. So, we'll see. Hopefully, they can make it to Omaha and win it all. And, finally, the uh, NASCAR Truck Series and IZOD Indy Cup Series, Indy Car Series, will be at the Texas Motor Speedway this weekend. Um, my brother happened to get tickets to both races, and I will be going to both of those. And, um, in fact, I'm fixing to be on my way to meet him for the truck race. So, I don't know anything about Indy or, Na or the truck series, but it's just fun to go to, you know. But, um, I guess that's about it. So, um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.